Well, Labor Day weekend is considered one of the last chances for a summer trip and travel is up 9% compared to the last holiday. Casey Cronus is live in South Holland with a look at how the roads have been. Hey, Casey. Hey, Sylvia and Terrence, we are posted up at the Oasis here in South Holland, where there have been no shortage of pit stops as people are working their way back home. Take a live look right now at 8294, where surprisingly, things are moving. That wasn't the case when we got here about 90 minutes ago, though. Traffic in the eastbound lanes was painfully slow, only inching along. Many travelers exiting here in South Holland for a break to stretch their legs, grab a bite to eat, and fuel up. Now, part of what's driving the increase in travel this year is the cost. According to AAA, travel expenses for the holiday weekend are down 2%, and that includes gas prices. Statewide savings are up to 37 cents a gallon at the pump compared to last year, and in Chicago, 52 cents. One of the popular local destinations this weekend was Michigan. We spoke with one family who is in the home stretch of their travel journey back to the south suburbs congested pretty much the whole way. <laughs> we had traffic probably about, what, 20 minutes onto the expressway immediately. I mean, we do it every year, and it's actually worse this year than it's ever been. This is my wife. It's uh, it's actually her sister's boat, and we all, we all go up there as a family. It's kind of like the last hurrah for summer for boating and all that, so we, we try and make it count. And if you have one more day of your summer getaway and aren't hitting the road until tomorrow, experts with AAA say the roads will be most congested between 8 a.m. and noon, and they suggest waiting until after 1 p.m. to leave. Reporting live in South Holland, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.